Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today. And today, the Denver Nuggets beat the Memphis Grizzlies at 108 to 104. And the Grizzlies fall to 0 2. I know the Grizzlies are without John ja Morant and they're without Steven Adams, but Grizzlies don't look that great right now. I mean, uh, they didn't play the best basketball today. I mean, their defense kept them in the game. They had a lot of block shots, had a lot of steals in this game. I think their defense is what kept them against this, you know, in this game, you know, because they are really good defensively with Jaron Jackson Jr. and Marcus Smart. But. They didn't look great offensively. They had 13 steals and 7 blocks in this game, so they were really good defensively. But the Grizzlies are 0-2. I know their two losses go to the Nuggets and the Pelicans, but I don't know. I'm just not feeling very great about this team right now. I'm not even a Grizzlies fan. I just um, I know their they, their first two games have been against good opponents. They played decent against the Nuggets tonight, but I think defense is one of the best contributions they have as a team. But besides that, I mean, obviously you have players like Desmond Bain and Marcus Smart and uh, Jaron Jackson Jr. Just uh, I'm not saying this team is going to be a bottom team in the Western Conference. I just don't know if I see them being a top six team in the Western Conference like people think they will be. Uh, and I know it's only two games in the season. I'm not going to panic, but um, still, I, I don't know what this team's identity is because – um, they have a hard schedule in the first 25 games where John Morant is out, and I think that could set them back. You know, I've looked at their schedule. This is not just off of two games. Going up into the season, doing my standings predictions, I checked out their first 25 games. Also knowing that Steven Adams was hurt, I thought that's going to take a big thing into their team without him. But their they're 25, first 25 games are really hard without Ja, and I think that's going to be really interesting to see. Uh, throughout uh, the first 25 games of the season is how they play without Jaw and and how they play once Jaw gets back. Um, yeah, but it's, this is the only the first two games of the season. They play tomorrow against the Wizards. I mean, I don't know how, about the Wizards, to be honest. I mean, the Wizards are not great, but the Grizzlies are coming off of a back-to-back, um, so we'll see how they play. They have to go from Memphis to Washington tonight, so... Uh, we'll see how the how the how the Grizzlies do tomorrow if they can get their first win of the season. I would think they sh- that they should get their first win of the season over the Wizards. That should be I would say that should be guaranteed. But you know, with a back you know with a back to back Friday and Saturday playing two games, and you have to go from Memphis to Washington. I don't know. We'll see. I think that should be an interesting game tomorrow with the Grizzlies and the Wizards. But let's get into the let's get into the scoring for both teams. Jokic had a near triple double, twenty two points, twelve rebounds, seven assists, eight for fourteen, one for four from three. Also twenty two points for Jamal Murray with five assists, sixteen points for Reggie Jackson. Man, he's looked really good. Um, six assists as well. I mean, I know you know he was on their team last year and he got to play a little bit, but you know that was a late seat. That was a that was a you know a late addition for the Nuggets. Now, you know, this being his full first full year, he looks adapted to this team and him with Jokic looks really good. I think it's going to be Reggie Jackson's going to be a great piece for their bench unit this year. He's looked great in the first two games with uh first game dropped, he dropped, he had 8 and 3. Tonight he has 16 and 6. Uh 5 points for Christian Braun or uh, Christian Brown and then uh 10 points for Aaron Gordon. So that was it for the Nuggets starting or Nuggets scoring. Grizzlies scoring uh, 21 points for Jaron Jackson Jr., 20 points for Marcus Smart. He had five steals, 15 points for Desmond Bain. He was off from three. That, that's another thing. Like, if Desmond Bain's going to be shooting the ball from three like that, um, you, know, the, you know, they need him to shoot good from three. And he shot one for 10 from, from three tonight. Uh, 21 points for Jaron Jackson Jr., 20 points for Marcus Smart, 15 points for Desmond Bain, 13 points and 8 rebounds for Xavier Tillman, and 11 points for uh, Isaiah Williams, and then 16 points and 4 rebounds and 3 assists for Derrick Rose. And that was it. So uh, now the Grizzlies are 0-2. They travel to Washington, have a back-to-back going from Memphis to Washington. So do the Memphis get their? Do the Memphis Grizzlies get their first win tomorrow night, or do they, go, do they fall to 0-3? I would think, you know... I would think that the Grizzlies should be the favorite in that game, but the Grizzlies going on a back-to-back, going basically across the country, and then not only that, um, but you know, Wizards had a terrible loss in their first game of the season. Now this is their home opener. I think that could be a sneaky upset for the Washington Wizards. That's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts, and peace out.